The date is December 17, 1908. The Wright brothers are preparing to test their first ever walking flyable plane. They started the engine and pushed it as Wilbur laid down in the plane. Everybody's heart was racing. Then, suddenly, everyone was cheering and clapping. The test was successful. When they landed, everyone rushed to the brothers, congratulating them and cheering for the new innovators. But hey, let's not get too far ahead. A lot of things happened in their childhood as well. It all started on April 16th, 1867, when Wilbur Wright was born. He was a serious and brilliant child and intended to go to Yale to be a clergyman. However, one fateful day at his high school changed the course of humanity. He was playing ice hockey just like any other day. Then, all of a sudden, he was struck in the lower leg by another player. He couldn't continue any sports or education for the next eight years. But Wilbur had a little brother named Orville. Those two were inseparable. Their personalities were very complementary. In 1892, the Wright brothers opened up a bike shop. This was the first step to them inventing the plane. While they were walking on fixing bikes and selling them, they were also slowly progressing toward aviation. Wilbur was studying birds and how they move their wings in order to control flight. While Orville tested and designed the models they made. Later on, Wilbur found out that a bird warps its wings tips in order to turn. In 1899, he made a kite model. It was flexible and light to mimic a bird's movement. After the plane walked, they started putting together the blueprints and testing the designs. In 1910, they finished the plane that would change the world. Let's go back to 1908. The Wright brothers successfully fly the first ever plane in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Nothing really interesting happened after that besides the brothers working on improving the plane. Sadly, everyone has to go. Orville suffered a heart attack and died on January 30th, 1984. Wilbur Wright died on May 30th, 1912 of typhoid fever after contracting it on a trip to Boston.